Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can effectively color code and organize your study notes. So why is color coding important at all? Well, not only does it make your notes look more lively, it also helps you organize your notes and make certain pieces of information stand out better so you can remember them more effectively. I'm going to be demonstrating color coding on these notes that I printed from my iPad. However, the same principles apply whether you're doing digital or paper notes. When color coding, you don't want to use like 20 different colors to get your point across. If you start to use way too many colors, you'll find that it actually hasn't benefited you in any way, save for the fact that it probably just made your notes super colorful. I suggest limiting your color choices to under eight. Depending on how you've written your notes and how much information you have, I'd up that to maybe five or six so that your notes can still be fairly well organized, but not with excessive use of colors. And I'll show you what I mean by color coding to organize as well as highlight key things. Items that are commonly color coded are listed here. So not all of your notes will have all these items, or at least I hope not, because that would be a heck of a page of study notes. Also, if you're color coding, make sure you have already read your notes at least once so you know what important things to pick out. So just scan the items here and I'll go ahead and show you how I color code them. With nursing and biology notes, I typically only color code these four items, but that actually doesn't mean I only have four colors. And I'm gonna illustrate what I mean. Now, this is an example of how color coding can be done. Yes, four colors is great, and while it does color code what it needs to, there is a lack of regard for organization and demonstrating the relationships between sections of your notes and why you place certain things where you did. Meaning, visualizing your subtopics is a bit unclear if your heading and subheadings are the exact same color. Also, if you color all of your key terms the same, even though one of them might be a different bullet point level, the relationship between them is not very clear either. So what I like to do is branch off into secondary colors, meaning another color for your different subheading and another color for key terms that branch off into new bullet point levels. This is more so a way of organizing your notes such that the relationships between sections and bullet points are clear. Doing this also helps me organize the content and ideas in my own head too. I hope I'm explaining myself clearly, but basically these key terms in this bullet point level would be baby key terms that are related to the main key term. So it's really similar to making a web diagram where you're trying to illustrate relationships and connections. Obviously, keeping track of these colors is critical to your understanding of your notes, and you can always make a legend on the top of the page, or you could alternatively put it on a sticky note if you're not doing digital notes and paste it on the page. With that said, I created a system for my notes using six different colors. I think this is a good medium for color coding because it doesn't add too many colors while still being able to organize your notes and code important items. So here I am just going through the process of color coding using the system I created. Of course, your notes are probably going to be different from mine because if you study history or math or chemistry, you'll likely be color coding different things like equations, names, people, events, and time, etc. So that's all there is to how I color code my notes. You can of course do this without highlighters and just use colored pens. But I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful. The rest of this video is just gonna be videos of me color coding the rest of my notes. If you're curious, the highlighters that I'm using in this video are the zebra pen mild liners and you can find them in my description box. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.